So now we have database, we have all the request response things. Now if you go back to your postman and if you try to send data, so let's say what I will do now is let, let's create a new resource. And to do that we have to use a URL which is alien, right? And then we have to send data as well. Now to send the data we have to go to, go to body and we have to insert a new object, right? Let me go for 104 and we'll say this is Mayank. And let's say Mayank has 90 points here. Now let's say if you have this data, now see I'm sending this data in XML format, right? What if you want to send this data in JSON format? Is it possible? So what I will do here is I will just convert this into JSON because I want to send JSON, not, not XML. So of course this will not work. So we have to send data something like this. You have to say uh, in double quotes, you have to mention the ID. Then you will give a colon. Uh, the ID I want to send is 104. Right? Then, oh, I forgot to put a comma there. And the second thing I have to send is name. And let's say the name is Mayank. And we'll give a comma. And then we'll, we'll have a points here. And the points would be, let's say, 90. So I want to send this data. Now, at the moment I click on send, okay, so you can see it is getting stored. So in this, it is getting stored and it is working, right? So that means you can send a request in JSON format or you can send a request in an XML format, right? Now, how exactly is working? So what if, we, what if I do, okay, what if I change this thing now? Let's say I don't want to, I mean, I want to specify something. Example, uh, if you want to specify what type of data you want to accept, you can also use consumes. So you can say consumes and now produces something which will send from server to client that is produce. So from the server, I'm sending data to client that is producers. Consumes is something where your client sends the data and your, your server will, will, will be accepting it. So we'll say consumes and so it only consumes, let's say, uh, maybe if I, if I mention the media type as media type dot application dot XML. So I will make it XML and let's see if it is working with JSON or not. So let me just make it XML and I need to restart the server. I guess it will be happening automatically. But in other case, oh, it's not happening automatically. Let's right click and say run as run on server. Okay. So now if I go back to my postman to send this request, this time we'll go for 105 because we already have 104 there and we'll go for a name called as Pooja. And let's have a point which is 80, even those point doesn't matter in this case. Okay, let's run this and let's see what happens. Now if you click on this uh, send button, can you see that we got an error? It says unsupported media type. Because what we are doing is we are specifying that it will accept only XML. And that's the problem. When you specify it will support only XML, then it will only support XML. That means if I send data in XML format, it will surely work. So we'll go back here and say I want to undo so that I will get the XML which we have written before. Okay, so let's set this as 105 and let's say name is Pooja and let's say this is 80 and if I click on, uh, I have to make sure that I select XML and if I click on send now, you can see it is working. So that means when you specify the type of data you want to accept, it will accept only that particular thing. I guess it's better to have both, right? A, a client can send a JSON data or they can send an XML data. That's their choice. If you want to assign both, if you, if you want to accept only these two, not anything else, uh, you can specify those two things here and that, that this will be a good thing, you know, specify both so that a, when a client send, try to send something weird, it will not accept. So it's better to mention the consume sanitation as well. So consume says what type of data you are going to accept, XML, JSON, plain text, what else, right? So once we have mentioned this, uh, okay, it says some memory leak issue, but it's fine. Let's go back and let's go to Postman and, okay, so we'll say send. Oh, okay, we have this two times now. I want to go for JSON this time. So let's enter JSON data. So we'll say JSON, again, we have to type the same thing, right? I should have copied it somewhere to reuse, but let, let's make it fast. So I will say ID, ID is let's say 106 and we'll say name, is equal to let's say in double quotes let's mention the name or we'll send this 106 in double quotes as well okay now this will be let's say um pravin let's say points and let's have a point which is let's say 85 
Okay, we'll keep that in double quotes. Okay, now if I send a JSON format, let's see if it is working or not. If I click on send, it is working. You can see that. Again, you are getting data in XML format because we have not mentioned what type of data you want to send, right? You can also specify by going to headers and say, hey, I don't want uh, XML, I want JSON in, in return. So if I say send now, uh, okay, where is our data? Is it coming? But don't worry, this, this is giving you JSON format. This is giving you JSON format. So that's how you send request, that's how you accept request and yeah, that's how we use add consumes annotation. So in this video we have talked about add consumes. So yeah, that's it from this video.